the fact that the International Year of Biodiversity is over formally on the 31st of December this year does not mean that we have to stop worrying about these issues. What the, the year has done for us is it has given us a platform on which to act with more vigor, with more energy, and with the support of the international system behind us. After all, there were major agreements about saving nature, saving biodiversity, made at the, at the conference of the parties of the Convention on Biological Diversity. In Nagoya, we agreed on three basic important building blocks. One is that in Nagoya, we finally agreed to bring to life a very important protocol, which we call the ABS, or the Access and Benefit Sharing to Genetic Resources. The second was a very specific strategy of action, specific actions until 2020. And these are things that governments and all parts of society must work on. And the third was a design for actually how to pay for all this. This is very important and we're going to be contributing with every part of IUCN to make sure that this is all, this all comes into being the sooner the better. Among the specific targets in the strategic plan that we will be working for will be to ensure that at least 17% of the terrestrial areas on our planet are protected and at least 10% of the marine and coastal areas are protected. Another specific target is that the extinction of known threatened species has been prevented and their conservation status improved. Another one of these specific targets out of the 20 targets for 2020 that was agreed on was that the loss of threatened ecosystems such as forests will be cut in half by 2020. So th these are just examples of the very specific actions that were agreed upon by the 192 governments present in Nagoya and IUCN is committed to making sure that these targets will be met. I felt that there was really a very positive energy in Nagoya, both inside the negotiating rooms among the governments, which are the voting members and the members of the conference of the parties, but also among the others, many, many thousands of other people who were in Nagoya, all of us pushing for the same objectives to come out with these agreements civil society, parliamentarians, business people, young people. So this huge amount of energy and commitment now must continue. We should now build on all of the accomplishments of the International Year of Biodiversity in order to strengthen the resolve to really do something about the loss of, of biodiversity and the degradation that we human beings have caused to nature.